I am your MC this evening, and it's a great privilege. I know that um, I am here uh, both to support the great and amazing work um, that is happening here at UMBC with regards to folk life and cultural heritage work, um, but also as somebody who cares deeply about uh, the story uh, of, of Ola Bell Reed um, and uh, the music that she helped to create, the tradition that she really helped to perpetuate and, uh, and help thrive. Um, in the state of Maryland, uh, and in Delaware, Pennsylvania, and the world, really. Uh, for those of you who never had the privilege of uh, hearing Ola Bell's story before, um, if you're here because somebody suggested that you come, uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, but just a tiny bit to know about Ola Bell Reed. Uh, she was born in 1916 in Lansing, North Carolina. Um, she and her family, her 13 or 14 uh, siblings uh, moved to the Maryland-Pennsylvania border uh, during the Depression, uh, 1932, on a flatbed truck. Uh, the Campbell family, her birth name was Ola Wave Campbell. Uh, the Campbell family set up a series of general stores um, in that kind of tri-state Delaware, Pennsylvania, Maryland area. Um, and that was the place that you went uh, for the food and music. If you were part of this migration of people from, uh, from Appalachia who moved to this region uh, in, the, in the Depression and right before World War II, um, and that was a lot of people, um, uh, these are the stores that you would go to to get the stuff that you, uh, that you were used to back home. And uh, it's also the places that you would go to get the music that you knew and loved from back home. Um, Ola Bell Reed was a uh, great banjo player um, and also a really noteworthy singer uh, and songwriter. She's somebody that I think of as being um, really akin to a Woody Guthrie, um, you know, somebody that uh, wrote enduring songs that were rooted deeply in tradition, uh, but also really spoke to the moment that she lived in. And I think in many ways uh, was ahead of her time and spoke to the moment and the times that we live in now. So uh, really to kind of get this celebration of Ola Bell Reed and her music started, uh, we, uh, we have so, an incredible duo all the way here from, uh, from far off Silver Spring, Maryland. They are, <laughs> they are 14 time Grammy nominees and four time Grammy winners. Uh, they are also uh, people who sat at the knee of Ola Bell Reed uh, and learned from her music, learned uh, about the holistic nature of Appalachian culture that surrounded the music and songs that, uh, that she wrote. So please give a warm welcome to the great Kathy Fink and Marcy Markser. Thank you. It's delightful to be here. We did love Ola Bell and her amazingly wonderful husband, Bud, who was also a great musician. They were beautiful human beings. I have always held a second place in heart. I love so dear. Just to see a trace in a tiny sign that you care. Say the time heal a broken heart. I prayed you'd love me too, but I just can't play that second part. Only. You had another love before 
so much. It is a real pleasure to be here in honor of Ola Bell Reed, who Marcy and I think of as one of the great musical humanists that we ever met. We have so many stories and not enough time to share them all, but uh, we love the exhibit and we're really thrilled to be here with Ola Bell's family and other people who just love her music. We made so many visits uh, to all the bells through the years, and on one of those visits, I'll tell you a couple of short stories. On one of those visits, we took Patsy Montana to go see Ola Bell Reed. Now, the two of them knew of each other's music quite a bit, but they hadn't met. And we got to sit on the couch and listen to Patsy Montana and Ola Bell Reed do the gossip of country music of the 1940s. <laughs> and of course, Bud, Ola Bell's fabulous husband loved the music of Jimmy Rogers and yodeling. And getting Patsy Montana to yodel in Ola Bell Reed's house made Bud go nuts. It was a great moment. One of our many visits to Ola Bell's, we were about to leave. We had just sung her a song that you're gonna hear the Honey Dew Drops do, our version of her song, Where the Wild, Wild Flowers Grow. Ola Bell kind of gave me this look and she went, you have your own way of doing things, don't you? <laughs> which I took as a sign of approval from her. Oh yeah. And as we were walking out the door, she said, wait a minute, don't leave. I have a song I've never recorded and I want to give it to the two of you. And it is a beautiful love song. You can hear the influence of sort of the country music of the 1940s and 50s in there. It's a hit that just didn't get made as a hit but a beautiful, beautiful song, and it's called I'm Hopelessly in Love with You. And one of the greatest moments of our friendship with Obel and Bud and the whole family was getting to go to the VFW Hall in Rising Sun, Maryland, and sing that song for their 50th anniversary. Here it is, one, two, three. You can measure the tallest, tallest tree Just how far to the stars up in the blue Can you fathom the deepest, deep blue sea That's how much I'm hopelessly in love with you I'm hopelessly in love with you Though you'll never know the pain that I go through So I'll content this aching heart For it was hopeless from the start Yes, I'm hopelessly in love with you
has no end. How many raindrops fall into the sea? How many times can I weep and will I bend? Count them all and that's how much you mean to me. Yes, I'm hopelessly in love with you. I'll content this aching heart For it was hopeless from the start Yes, I'm hopelessly in love with you Yes, I'm hopelessly in love with you Well, about, I'm thinking it's about 15 or 18 years ago, this, the town of Lansing, North Carolina, where Ola Bell grew up, decided to have an Ola Bell Reed Homecoming Festival and honor her. And we were invited to the first festival. In fact, we were also invited to help them organize it, <laughs> which, <laughs> which we did and had a good time and made so many friends down there that we lost our minds and bought a bunch of land and built a house right in... <laughs> the high on the mountain part of Lansing, North Carolina. And we spent about half time there and have built a whole kind of second neighborhood. And the music is just as good as it was when Ola Bell lived there. There's now a gigantic, gorgeous mural of Ola Bell Reed painted by Joni Ray from the Ash County Arts Council. So as you drive into town, the first thing you see is a great big brick wall with a beautiful mural of Ola Bell holding the banjo there. And that festival went on for a few years. It disappeared. It's coming back this year, Saturday, August 18th. So if you happen to be down in Lansing, come on over and listen to the two contests where both youth and adults will be doing two different things. One, a songwriting contest for a song written in the spirit of Ola Bell Reed. And two, best performance of an Ola Bell Reed song. And we've nixed people being able to do I've Endured or High on the Mountain, so they'll have to go <laughs> dig into the repertoire and hear some of the other great songs like you're hearing tonight. But that's going to be a wonderful celebration in Lansing, and we look forward to it. And we look forward to the rest of this evening. This is going to be a fantastic, fantastic show. And what a great tribute to Ola Bell. Now, it's interesting. We're going to sing her song, My Epitaph, and there's a line in here that says, don't sing my praises, Lord, after I'm gone. We are going against her wishes. <laughs> David gave me permission, though. So I'm going to do it because, again, it's not one of her best known songs. It's not one of her most recorded songs, but it gives you a really deep look into the thoughtfulness of Ola Bell's soul and her humanitarian spirit and the number of people and children that she helped out in her lifetime, we could never ever count that. You know, she just was an enormous, not just musical inspiration, but life inspiration. And so this is called My Epitaph. When I go from this life, let me go in peace. Don't want your marble at my head and my feet. Don't gather round me for to weep and for mourn. The way that I'm going, I won't be alone. The flowers you give, please give them today don't waste their beauty on the cold lifeless clay one rose with love could do so much good and I think I would give it 
if they just understood. God gives life freely, then he takes it away. What we do for each other, let us do it today. For we have no promise that tomorrow will come. Don't sing my praises, Lord, after I'm gone. When life has departed, it's not me anymore. Just a form that has suffered, still heart that is sore. So that has blossomed, it don't need you anymore. So let it go freely to God's evermore. When I go from this life, let me go in peace. Thank you all so much. Marcy Marks are on guitar. Kathy Fink on the vocals and guitar.